The headlines for you at six o'clock. Boris Johnson is due to visit Northern Ireland later, with the government set to confirm new legislation to override parts of the Brexit deal. Millions of pupils in England, Wales and Northern Ireland will start sitting their first formal exams in three years today. The Queen attends the first big event of her Platinum Jubilee, taking in the final night of the Royal Windsor Horse Show. One day, the Telegraph leads with a warning to the EU from Boris Johnson that the disagreements over the Northern Ireland Protocol are holding the government back from taking action over the cost of living crisis. That is also on the front of the Express, which reports the Prime Minister says there will be a necessity to act if Brussels fails to reform the Northern Ireland trade rules. While according to the I, ripping up the agreement risks sparking a trade war with the EU. Now, after Ukraine's victory in the Eurovision Song Contest, the Metro reports the country's president is insisting next year's show will be held in Kiev. The Mirror focuses on the mass shooting in a supermarket in Buffalo in New York State, saying the gunman wanted the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, to be murdered. The Guardian has news of a row between police leaders and the Home Secretary over what is described as a power grab to allow her to intervene in local matters and silence criticism from forces. There's another police story in The Times, a warning from the new Chief Inspector of Constabulary that forces need to refocus on driving down crime rather than acting as the thought police. The sun goes with the Queen's 70th Jubilee celebrations and how actor Tom Cruise got those celebrations off to a flying start at Windsor. And that story is also the lead in this morning's Daily Mail. Now, if you want to see any of those front pages again, or in fact, read the stories, then do scan the QR code on your screen. Now. Let's have a look at some of the papers for you this morning. Um, they're going to start with the Belfast Telegraph. They've got an exclusive message from the Prime Minister today. This is before his visit to Northern Ireland. Uh, writing in the paper, he says the protocol will not be scrapped, but must be fundamentally changed. Daily Mail now. Radiant, happy and simply glorious is the headline, alongside a picture of the Queen that you can see there. The paper says her appearance at the closing of the Royal Windsor Horse Show last night, the second time she's been seen in public in three days, has lifted the nation's spirits. The Metro leading on the story that Vladimir Zelensky has promised that Ukraine will host Eurovision next year after his country's emotional song contest triumph.